Good day everyone. Let's work out this measurement question. We are told that we have an open cylindrical container made of metal with a circular base and uniform thickness throughout. The length of the container from the top to outer bottom is 120 cm and the inner and outer radii are 14 cm and 15 cm respectfully, respectively. So uh, we have our diagram here. And the height of the container is 120 cm. The blue region represents the space inside of the container that is not metal. It will be occupied by some substance. Okay, so right now let's say it's filled with air. And we have a thickness, a uniform thickness throughout. So part A says draw a cross-sectional view of the container showing the measurements of the inner and outer radii. So when we draw a cross-sectional view of the container, we tend as if we are cutting across, we are slicing the container across and then we are looking downward, so I draw an eyeball here. We are looking down at the container to see what it looks like. And we are drawing what we see. So if we do that, we will see two circles one on the inside and one on the outside. So let's do that diagram. So we have a circle on the inside and we have a circle on the outside. And the inner radius will be 14 centimeters. So we have 14 cm. And the outer radius. 15 centimeters so you have 15 cm all right so this is where the cross-sectional view look, would look like and let's look at part b show that the capacity of the container is 73,304 so what we do is we find the volume of the blue region so we use cross-sectional area multiplied by height cross-sectional area multiplied by multiplied by the height so the cross-section is a circle the cross-sectional area would then be pi r squared we multiply by the height which is something we have to determine. So if the thickness throughout is uniform, and if the difference between the inner radius and the outer radius is one centimeter, then the thickness has to be one centimeter below. There's a thickness of one centimeter below. And therefore, the height of the blue region or the blue cylinder has to be 120 subtract 1 which is 119 cm so what we do is we use the height as 119 centimeters so pi is given as 22 over 7 and we have to use what the question has given us for pi so we have 22 over 7 multiplied by the radius which is 14 we are using the inner radius radius of the blue cylinder multiplied by 14 again because it's r squared multiplied by 119 over 1 we cancel 7 into 7 1 7 into 14 2 and therefore we have 22 times 2 which is 44 multiplied by 14 multiplied by 119 and we work this out in our calculator. 44 times 14 times 119 equals 73,304. 73,304. And our unit is cm cube. So we have obtained the value of 73,304. Let's move on to part C now. Determine the volume of the material used to make the container. 
So let's find the volume of the entire solid, assuming that there is no space in between. There is no place for any liquid or solid or gas to be put. And assuming we have a solid cylindrical container of height 120 cm and inner radius of 15 centimeters. So we find the cross-sectional area, which is pi r squared. We multiply it by the height, which is now 120 centimeters. So pi is again 22 over 7, and radius is 15. So we multiply by 15 over 1, by 15 over 1, by 120. We work this out in our calculator, 22 times 15 times 15 times 120 equal divided by 7 so 84,857.142 and so on 84,857 let's round off to the nearest whole number so 84,857 cm cube, and this will be the volume of the entire cylindrical solid. But we know that on the inside is hollow, and there is no material on the inside, so we have to subtract this blue volume, because this is not made of metal. This is a space inside the cylinder. And so we worked that out before to be 73,304. So we have to do the subtraction. And 84,857 subtract 73,304. Let's check that again. 84,857 84,857 Subtract 73,304 11,503 11,553 cm3 That's our answer. This is the volume of material used to make the container. So let's move on to part D. Given the density of the material used to make the containers 2.2 gram per cm cube, determine the mass in kilograms of the empty container. Given that density is equal to mass divided by volume. So, what we have to do, we have the volume of the container, we have the density of the material, we have to determine the mass of the container. So mass, if we make mass the subject of the formula, multiply by volume on both sides, we have density times volume. So that will give us 2.2 .2 times 11,553. Twenty-five thousand four hundred sixteen point six. Twenty-five thousand four hundred sixteen point six. This is the mass. Let's approximate this to the nearest whole number of twenty-five thousand. Twenty-five thousand four hundred seventeen grams. Okay, so this answer is in grams, and we are asked to work out the answer in kilograms. So therefore, we have to divide 25,417 by 1,000. So the answer will be 25.417 kilograms. 
we approximate this to the nearest whole number again we have 25 kilograms about 25 kilograms of material okay so these are our answers and the empty container would therefore have a mass of 25 kilograms thanks for watching good luck in your studies